While electric vehicles share some similarities with their internal combustion engine or ICE counterparts, they also introduce a host of unique maintenance requirements. Electric vehicles employ advanced liquid cooling systems to regulate the temperature of critical components such as the high voltage battery pack, power electronics, and electric motor. Regular coolant service is essential for maintaining the system's effectiveness and preventing issues. Techs should inspect the coolant levels to ensure that the system can manage the battery temperature. Typically, the coolant reservoirs are found under the hood or frunk and the level can be seen through the reservoir. If the level is low, an inspection should be completed to find the cause. Low coolant can hinder the vehicle's ability to cool or warm the batteries as needed depending on the weather. EVs may require special coolants and the maintenance intervals vary from one manufacturer to another so it's best to look in the service manual to determine when it should be replaced. Tires, brakes, and wipers are prime examples of familiar components that require regular attention and service, regardless of the vehicle's propulsion system. Due to an EV's weight, tire replacement intervals are much more frequent. On average, EV tires last 6,350 fewer miles than those fitted to internal combustion engine vehicles, according to data taken from EPIC's OneLink Service Network platform, which is used by car and van fleets totaling more than 4 million vehicles to manage service, maintenance, and repair. Inform your customer about the weight differences between an EV and an ICE vehicle and providing visual proof of the tire's tread depth are good ways to help them understand why their tires may be worn more quickly than they anticipated. With the tires off, this is a great time to inspect the brakes. Due to regenerative braking, brake pads on an EV will typically require less frequent replacement. However, while the brake pad material may be okay, Corrosion of the brake pad backing plates is more prominent due to environmental concerns because they are on the vehicle longer. Another component that has to deal with the environment and is often overlooked or forgotten is the 12 volt battery. While serving a similar function to ICE vehicles, the 12 volt battery in an EV plays a crucial role in powering various auxiliary systems. Regular battery testing, charging, and replacement are essential to prevent issues such as electrical system failures, difficulty starting the vehicle, reduced range, and performance. The 12-volt battery testing method is the same as a standard ICE vehicle, but ensure the battery tester you are using is capable of reading results from AGM or absorbed glass mat and EFB or enhanced flooded batteries as well as flooded batteries. Replacing the battery is straightforward, not very different from replacing the battery in an ICE vehicle. It is still best practice to check the service information for the vehicle you are working on to ensure all safety precautions are followed. By investing in specialized training and skill development, technicians can position themselves as trusted experts in the field of EV maintenance and be capable of delivering exceptional service. EV training can be found through many different providers such as ASE, iCar, and here in the Benpack EV Garage video training series. For more options available in your area, a quick internet search will provide you with hands-on training as well, usually in partnership with local technical institutions and training facilities. I'm Eric Garba, coming to you from the Benpack EV Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.